Hey friends, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Colony Doss and I just got a shipment that I'm super excited to share with you. It's the Kalani's World Rhythms Collection from Tycoon Percussion in cooperation with Hal Leonard. And I'm gonna be showing you each of the instruments as we go through this series, unboxing World Rhythms. We're gonna start with this instrument, the biggest box, and this is from the Brazilian portion of the set. And I believe this is the Surdu. So let's get into it. All right, here's the packaging. Right on top, you'll see the tuning key or wrench. And we take out this and look at that. That's how you know it's part of the right set. World Rhythms. Let's get it out. Make sure you put your tuning key in a place where you can find it. Um, I think it's a standard size, it's a socket. You can also use an open-ended wrench. This Surdu is beautiful. Um, this is the wood model. There's also a um, aluminum finish model, a metal one, but this is the wood one. I want you to see this because it's really nice. Surdus can be metal or wood. Uh, both are traditional, both are used. And here's what that looks like. I'll hold it up in a second. Let me get this paper uh, material. Let's get the box over here somewhere. There we go. So here's what the shell looks like. Here's the size. It's a good size drum. It's a traditional style drum. Uh, you'll need a mallet with this. So I'm gonna grab a mallet. The mallet is inside of one of these corner pieces, so don't get rid of these until you get the mallet out. And we play the surdu with a large, um, a large mallet that it can be, you know, yarn or felt or this kind of uh, fuzzy material. This is actually really common, so it's this is more of a traditional design, which is great. Um, I, now I haven't tuned this yet, so we're just going to try it right out of the box. Pretty high pitched. But listen to the resonance, it's really great. So you get a traditional style mallet uh, with a wrist loop. And then to tune the drum, you will need to tune it on one side and you use your tuning wrench. What you're gonna need to do to tune this, and I don't know if you can hear this, but the whole drum is resonating as I talk. That's a good sign. Um, what you're gonna need to do is take off the rubber tips and then you can tune the drum up and down this way. And you do want to go in a star pattern as you're tuning these drums. So you can just go side to side and go like this, kind of in a zigzag back and forth and make sure you always tune each lug nut. These are called lug nuts. Tune each one the same amount so your rim stays flat and even in parallel to the head, right? We don't want the rim getting cockeyed. All right, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna lower the, the pitch of this drum. This is pretty high. It's great if you have two, this could be the high one, then you have a low one. Uh, but if you just have one, probably want it a little bit lower. So this is a bass drum, so we're gonna get it into bass drum range. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna take all these rubber tips off and I'm gonna go around the drum, just gonna lower it like this. So I'd start here and I'd turn this counterclockwise, maybe a quarter turn. I'll do that and I'll be right back. Once you get done loosening or turning the lug nuts, just give the drum a little press or tap in the middle. I'm using a flat hand and kind of press down on the head a little bit and that'll help seat it. And then you can check the pitch. Let's see where we are now. Ah. Really beautiful tone. Um, like most drums, especially bass drums, you don't want to hit the drum right in the middle. The middle is a node or a dead spot. We do not hit the drums right in the middle. Fortunately, most people don't have aim that's good enough to do that, so we're okay. But I would say just off center is perfect. Uh, the surdu, we have two basic techniques. Put your hand on the drum, strike the drum with the mallet. That's our closed sound. And then for an open sound, just lift your hand up. I'm gonna lift it off the floor because it sounds better. You can also play this drum in a stand or with a strap. 
Nice. So, closed and open. And I can hear this in my studio. I'm hearing things vibrate, and that's also a good sign. It means the drum is really resonant, and the vibrations are carrying across the space, which is what you want in a bass drum. So this, again, is the World Rhythms Surdu, the wood model. You can also get these in an aluminum or metal finish as well.